quickie, quickie, nasty, hacky, timey. Because I know people like these. Uh, you know the Famicom? The great little machine, the original NES. Uh, well, won't the NES be the American Famicom? Uh, quality item. Uh, but if you want to play gun games for it, you got to pay for like an 80 quid add-on. An 80 quid gun. Which looks a bit like this. Great. But it's a bit much compared to what you can get the NES Zapper for. You'll have for about a tenner, five or if you're in some events. But after a bit of digging online, I found out you could actually do a bit of a jiggery, jiggery pokery and kind of get it working on a, a Zapper working on a Famicom. Like that. Uh, there's pictures of the progress coming up with fancy music. Of course, I'm not taking the full credit to find out the technical specifications for this mod. They're all thanks to this NES dev site. I'll put the link to the actual guide in the description below. Now, if you look at the front of the Famicom, you see that little connector. And yes, it is, in fact, the same connection that is used on a PC from olden times. So just look on the internet and buy this type of connector. In fact, buy two of them because, as you'll see in this picture, it doesn't exactly fit in the port properly. It kind of doesn't get to the pins. But of course, that's not really a problem for a botcher like me. Because all I did was crack open the second one. And then separate it a bit. In the process, spilling those little pins all over the bloody place. Because they're not exactly glued in. And of course, placing in the ones I needed in the right sockets. And a couple of extra for a bit of stability. I was just going to wire this directly onto the end of the NES Zapper, but I thought, hang on a minute, if the Zapper goes tits up, then I'm going to have to redo this. So that, so I salvage a connector of a broken NES I had lying around for a few years. But don't do what I did and cut the PCB off, because uh, you kind of need that, because the pins will move around without it making the connector a bit rubbish. It also makes it a bit of a bitch to solder to. Whereas if you keep the PCB, you've got a nice little surface to solder to. And also follow this diagram, because this is the way how it's done. And in the end you have... It's alive! And... Yeah. Uh, this is a... Uh, somebody actually wanted me to try this, see if I could do it. Uh, yes, I can. Because <laughs> I like simple hacks. And this is the simplest you can get. It's just four cables into a standard uh, DS15 port. Mm, focus. Focus. And that's about it. Piece of piss. Yeah. And don't forget to wrap those cables up. Bum, bum.